Hello friends, welcome back. This is the part of the series and we will see few general steps we can perform uh, to any data. From our part one, uh, what we know is we have understood the problem statement which was to predict the sale price, understand the data set given, upload the data in Google Colab and display the first few records. These are the few steps we have taken in part one. And in today, uh, we are going to see a few more things such as how many missing values are there, what is the distribution of the target variable which is the sale price, can we identify from the data set which of the columns are numerical or categorical and what is the correlation of the columns among all, all of them. So checking the missing value counts in each column is a very simple uh, and straightforward. What we'll do is um, we will take the df underscore train uh, data frame which is our training data set. We will use the isNull function to identify the missing values and we will sum them so to get the count total count okay and we will divide it by the length of the data frame so that you know we get a ratio and in percentage now it will be a decimal number so what we are going to do is we are going to multiply it with you know the value 100 and save it in a variable we can say missing count is equal to this right and once this is done now of course there will be columns where there are no missing values so we don't want to look into that what we are interested more is looking at the columns which has more count so we'll just create a uh, filter okay to find the missing count greater than zero so very simple and straightforward we'll just use missing count again and on this we are just going to put a filter okay which is missing count and then again missing count greater than zero so if we print it out uh, we are going to get uh, the numbers let's run it okay uh, we see there are a lot many columns which has in you know, a huge number of uh, values missing which the miscellaneous feature the fans the pool quality in, in fact pool quality is like 99.5 percent missing fans has 81 percent almost missing data miscellaneous feature has almost 96 percent missing data uh, so can we sort this out so yes i think we can just simply say sort underscore values and let's look at it yeah so it sorted it out so we can clearly see that the last four columns they have a huge missing values so quite interesting so we have seen that now a few of the columns have missing values so we need to keep this in mind that before we can proceed um, to apply machine learning algorithms we need to make sure that those missing columns are handled properly now let's continue for the time being with the, our exploration and see how our target variable is distributed for that we can use the seaborn library and in the seaborn library we have a, a module called dist plot which will give me the distribution of a variable and here we will pass our the the sale price the sale price column and let's see how it looks like all right quite interesting uh, we can see that the distribution of the sale price is not normal which would suppose would have been here rather it's right skewed because we have a long tail in the right so it's a right skewed so it means that majority of our uh, uh, you know data has a lower house and we have a very limited number of records for the high price house this is a problem in general and in the next step we'll try to you know fix this uh, distribution issue by taking a log of uh, the sale price okay so we know that most machine learning algorithm works well with data which are normally distributed and 
whereas in our case the sale price is not normally so we can use the um, the np.log method and try to transform the target right let's see how it can be done so we can just take a variable name say target and is equal to and we are going to use the numpy library uh, in order to uh, take the log scale and we are going to pass the sale price field okay oh sorry i did not import the numpy library by habit i use np all right and once we have converted this we will again look into the distribution so we will just continue to use the uh, the c1 libraries dist plot method and in this case we will pass the target variable let's see what happens wow so our variable now seems more normally distributed than it was before applying the logarithmic scale okay so one more point before we continue further is whatever analysis that we're doing right now is part of the exploration and if you have noticed uh, we haven't yet uh, started doing any kind of transformation to the real data set okay we are just doing some exploration okay so in order to find uh, the numerical features we have a very simple so we will take first the data frame then we will use the select d types method and in there we will pass include only the numerical features which is numpy dot number and exactly the same steps we can do for the categorical features and instead of include we'll just say excel very simple and what we are saying is uh, let's see how many numerical and categorical features we have in our training data set so once we run it okay so we see that there are 38 numerical and 43 categorical features in our training data set so eventually we will have to make sure that we based on the importance of course uh, we will convert uh, this 43 categorical features uh, into our uh, into numerical features okay and let's look into one more step which is uh, the correlation among all the columns okay so before we find the correlation among the columns in the numerical data um, what we're going to do, remove the uh, id column which is not giving us any additional information and we can do it by using the del command and by passing the id field just so just so you know numeric data is also a data frame right and then we can check whether it actually removed the id column or not we can just print it out of course so we don't see that id column uh, in the numerical uh, data sets okay so let's now find the correlation among the features in numeric data it's very simple we can use the dot car method and it will calculate the correlation for us and we can use the uh, heat map module from the c1 library uh, to plot it out okay so in this graph we are more interested in either the lower triangle or the upper triangle and this line which is white in color the diagonal line says about that the correlation among itself so the lot area correlated with lot area of course will be one and it's one for all combinations now uh, in the upper half or in the lower half choice is yours uh, we are interested in this light colored pixels you know uh, because these are the uh, columns which are uh, correlated with uh, other columns and they're highly uh, you know similar so we will see down the line how we can remove this multi collinearity and what factors into picture you know whenever we decide or what are the conditions uh, you know we can decide based on which we can remove these columns okay so that's all for part two of this series in the next part we will see how we can also find correlations or any kind of relationship of the categorical values uh, with the sale price 
because in the numerical case we can see that the last row here you know we can see some of the features are highly correlated with the sale price uh, similarly we are going to do it for the categorical features as well so till then uh, take care and goodbye